All right, we're back. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing in this video is adding in this secondary joint that you see at the shins and forearms of our character here. Now, Z-spheres do not in and of themselves do this. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't just make an extra branch that actually connects back in. Uh, they only work in a direct hierarchy. And if you think about it, connecting those in would require that we had uh, one Z-sphere with two parents. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to start off by just adding a couple of Z-spheres into my connector spheres on the leg. We'll just say we'll start with a leg. I'll split this out. I'll leave this right about here. We'll add in a couple of more connector spheres for shaping purposes. And oh, didn't mean to grab that guy. We'll pull this down a little bit. And really all I've done is just kind of define half of that shape. Mm -hmm. And we'll pull this down a little. I can be a little picky about the shape at this point. Um, just because, I mean, I'm going to have to tweak it now or tweak it later. Uh, let's go ahead and draw in another sphere for this side. And this one, I'll just pull out, and I'm just going to tuck it into essentially the same position as this sphere. It doesn't have to be dead on by any means, but something close. And because it's a little thick, I'm going to scale it down a little bit. You're going to put a uh, connector sphere in? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we'll just drop in a connector sphere here, here, cool. and here. And then we can split this off. Now, the interesting thing about working this way uh, is that from now on, if we go to move the leg or pose it, you know, if we're doing it from like somewhere up here, it really won't be that big of a deal, especially if we're doing like an alt click, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, rotating won't be a problem, but if we come over here and start moving, we can end up breaking stuff. So uh, the way to work around that is to make sure that your brush size encompasses both spheres. Now, I'm going to take my focal shift down because I don't want any sort of soft motion, but now you can see because both spheres are within the realm of my brush, I can move them both simultaneously. Very nice. Just something to, to be aware of. Also, um, I'm going to change the format of how that looks just to bring this back over because it looks like both of those bones kind of go straight down into the hand. Mm -hmm. They just only kind of merge via skin uh, once they get about halfway down. So that's something to keep in mind. This sort of Y shape isn't really going to fly. So to make that look a little bit nicer, first off, I'm going to temporarily take my brush size back down to something a bit more manageable. And let's grab this little sphere here. I'm going to pull this all the way down and just run it right alongside the wrist. Tuck it in about like so. We'll go ahead and add in one more connector sphere. Or I'll convert a connector sphere, and then we'll do something like that. Okay. And that's already starting to give us the shape that we need. And as we paint over it, it'll only get better. Now, it's a little bit wider than it probably needs to be. Yeah, I was so going to ask about that. Cool. I'm going to kind of straighten it up. But the well, the way I like to work with Z-spheres is just kind of, even if it's overly dramatic, get my shape in, then tweak the shape. As a matter of fact, once we finish off this little video here where I'm adding in these shapes, I'll probably go through and take a little bit of time, potentially off camera, depending on how time's looking, and just make some pose adjustments without really adding any extra detail uh, to get some different changes in uh, in pose and proportion. But sure. I will go back over any changes that I make, so I won't leave anybody in the dark. Okay, let's go ahead and tackle another leg. Um, like, And just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, like already this shin area seems a little bit longer than it needs to be. But again, the detail's there. Mm -hmm. So you know, we don't have to stress about it right now. All right, so um, I'll just go ahead and click in about three of these. And then just start moving. So we'll split those off. Let's go ahead and draw. And we'll pull this guy down all the way to the wrist once again. So we got to rotate to a couple of different views to get that where it needs to be. I'll scale it down a little bit. Notice it's scaling the other bone a little bit as well, but that's that doesn't really hurt anything on my end. We'll add in three more spheres. And let me go ahead and drop my brush size down to nothing for now. Spread those apart. Okay, and once again, that's fine because uh, all we're doing is just getting that initial detail in. Um, not to harp too much on poses right now, but it look it does kind of look like the leg is a little broken. I just I sort of want the leg to exist on a, a singular plane from the hip. Whether it does or not, I mean, the key are multi-jointed, so all kinds of crazy stuff could be happening on multi-axes of rotation, but sure. I'm just going to straighten that up to make me happy for now. If I want to break it later again, I can do that. Uh, so, once more, pop that in, split this off.
pull down to the wrist and scale that in. Sorry, I had to hit A, see what things were looking like. Now, I am trying to make a point to leave just enough of that sphere exposed uh, so that and not tucking it all the way into the surface, which you can do. But uh, that way, if I need to make an adjustment, it's easier to grab sure. and pull out because these spheres can get a little bit uh, a little picky about clicking right on the surface of an existing sphere. So having a little bit of that exposed will just make things easier down the way. So that takes care of the legs, which is pretty neat. You'll also notice, and this has probably been, I'm sure it's been present through many of the other videos that will continue to happen, that occasionally when I try to rotate my tool around, I will accidentally snag a Z-sphere, and I'll just quickly tap undo. Uh, please don't panic when I do that. That's just because I tried to uh, spin my tool around, and it didn't work, so I'm just ha having to undo that. That and try again from a new location on the screen okay so now same thing with the other joints uh, for the arms I'm just gonna do a little bit of adjusting here not too much pull this elbow back slightly and then it's become kind of a pattern now at this point I'm trying to decide if I really want that yeah I'll put it in there just for now Getting hungry again. Are you? Yeah, isn't that crazy? I'm probably just thirsty from all this talking. All right, drop in one more there. Ah, okay. That's what was going on there. So let me alt click that guy and just pull him out. What happened, if you're curious, was that, oh, it's moved a lot. Uh, these two spheres got really, really close, and that causes the connector spheres to gray out. It's n it has nothing to do with the shape. That's just ZBrush's way of trying to help you see what's really going on. Let me try something real quick. There we go. I just kind of wanted to rotate that in just a little bit. Okie doke. So that takes care of that arm, and now that just brings us up to this arm. Stretch that out very slightly. Now the neat thing about these is that they're going to bend kind of in the direction of an elbow such that like the bicep would flow right down in between them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to kind of keep that in mind once we start sort of uh, sculpting out our Z sketch. So that puts down the structure that we need for each one of these guys. And now it's just a matter of uh, probably adjusting our pose a little bit and getting things kind of cleaned up at this, at which point once we have the, the pose sort of cleaned up, we'll be ready to move on to the stage, or at least an initial stage of Z sketching, okay, and adding some flesh onto this kind of rudimentary skeleton. Now I realize that this video is a little bit on the short side because we're only about ten minutes in. Well, that's fine though. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and call it here, mm -hmm. um, only because what I'm about to do could end up taking anywhere from as few as ten minutes to as much as forty-five minutes to an hour. I'm not sure. I'm just going to push and pull some spheres around to adjust some proportions here right. and there uh, to repose a few things. But when we come back. Uh, I will walk you through the changes that I made. Sounds great. So that's going to wrap things up for this video. I want to thank everybody who's following along. And, of course, a huge thank you to all of our 3D Buzz member sponsors uh, for making everything we do possible. And I'll catch you all on the next video.